I hope you're ready to cook because we're going to make something awesome today. We are going to be making Cholitos. They're something that Taco Bell used to make and I used to love them. So we're going to need ground beef, an onion, tomato paste, refried beans, chili powder, cayenne pepper, shredded mild cheddar cheese, psyllium husk powder to thicken it, and some flour tortillas. So let's get started. So the first thing you want to do is brown your ground beef in with the onions. And I use a wooden spoon so I don't have no uh, melting going on. So we'll do that and come back. Okay, so that step is done. See, it's all nice and brown. Let the onions get a little bit more translucent. And if there's a lot of grease in your um, ground beef, you could drain it. I don't have any grease in here, just a tiny bit, because I use the um, organic grass fed. But you use any kind of beef you want. And if there is a lot of oil in there, just drain it off. So the next step will be putting in the uh, chili powder and the cayenne pepper. You're going to use four tablespoons, yes, four tablespoons of chili powder and one half of a teaspoon of the cayenne pepper. Okay, so you put those spices in, then you just mix it around, mix it up real good. Okay, see how nice and yummy it looks? Really good. So now you want to put in the water, two cups. Wow, look at that. You're going to love this so much, I'm telling you. Wait till it's done. Okay, so now we're going to make it, we're going to put the thickener in. I use psyllium husk powder. You can use whatever you like, but that's my choice. Um, so let me mix up that and put it in, and we'll be right back. Just so you can see, I put in a um, half of a teaspoon of the psyllium husk powder and I'm going to add in I added in two tablespoons of water and mixed it around now I'm going to put it in there okay next we want to add the um, tomato paste it's one can so I'm going to add this to the uh, sauce or to the chili okay, I'm going to add it in just going to stir it up keep stirring it till it dissolves then we're going to get the refried beans ready. Okay, now that that's all mixed in, we're going to add a can of the refried beans. Okay, there's the refried beans. Now we're going to mix them all in until they all disappear. Now it's time for the cheese. We're going to start adding the shredded cheese little bit at a time so it can get all nice and melted in there. See how yummy and delicious this is looking. Now it makes a lot, but the good thing is you can freeze it in little individual containers and then you have it ready for when you want a quick something to eat that's going to fill you up and be good. So I'm telling you this is really good. I hope you try it. Definitely let me know how you like it. I will be making a tray and taking some to my neighbors as soon as I'm done. Okay, so that's nice and ready. It's all done. We could turn it off. And then we're going to get some tortillas. And then just stick them in the microwave. 30 seconds. And then we'll wrap them up. Okay, so to wrap these up, you're going to put some in the middle, not too much. You're going to fold in both ends like that and then wrap them. I can't do it while I'm on the phone, but I will show you the finished product. And there you go. That's how they turn out and they're so, so good. You're going to love them. Please make them. Tell me how you like them. 
And like I said, you could freeze this in the freezer in little dishes for when you want so thank you thank you so much for watching please subscribe like and share and i'll see you soon